Are you kidding me? These aren't the right parts. That was an enormous pain in the ass. Um, I'm already out here though, I might as well do the other side. It was like 45 minutes of filing. <laughs> but I think it actually turned out better than stock doing it this way. Because now there's more clearance. There's more clearance down here on the frame. Uh, so. That took like four hours, but I think we're good to go now. Um, I'm gonna take all this stuff back upstairs. All right, I uh, think we're good to go. The, uh, the rear suspension seems to be working good. I'm hitting hitting bumps and drains and the like, and uh, it seems to be working the way it should. The rear trailing arms are not crashing into the frame anymore, so that's a bonus. I think it's going to be a little bit better than if I had used the stock parts on this. It was just a little bit obnoxious having to spend all that time filing down those bushings. The parts they sent me were not correct, and I happened to find some bushings that were pretty similar and was able to modify those to work. So a job that should have taken maybe 10-15 minutes at the most on each side wound up taking four hours. Um, but hey, you know, end result. Things working now. Uh, the only thing I have left to do on this chair is to fix the issue with the seating, because it's kind of like a rocking chair still. Uh, the people in Australia, though, told me 
how to fix that. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of work, and I'm going to need some help, though, because I have to remove the seating from the power base, and that's kind of a task. Um, so we'll save that for another day.